Today, we're exploring one of the most pressing energy frontiers, the challenge of powering data centers and the promise hydrogen holds for this mission critical sector. We'll unravel what data centers really are, why they're so foundational to our digital future, the true scope of their energy demands, the complexities of grid connection, and how hydrogen is emerging as a practical behind the fence solution. Finally, we'll look at a major recent announcement from Bloom Energy and Oracle showing how hydrogen innovation is moving out of the lab and into real world deployment. All of this on today's Hydrogen Podcast. To understand why powering data centers is such a pivotal challenge and opportunity, we need to appreciate what data centers have become. In a very real sense, these sprawling facilities are the backbone of our digital lives. They house the endless rows of servers, switches, and storage systems that process and transmit the digital information enabling cloud applications, social media, streaming video, AI and machine learning, global finance, online retail, and vital infrastructure services. In short, if our lives and economies are becoming digital, data centers are the indispensable infrastructure of the 21st century. The economics of data centers are staggering. Building and operating a large-scale data center involves capital expenditures that can approach $10 million per megawatt, with operational costs for power, cooling, staffing, and maintenance running into the tens of millions of dollars per year for a single major facility. Worldwide, the data center market is valued at over $340 billion for 2024 and is projected to surge past $620 billion by 2029. Data centers are, quite literally, economic engines for their host regions. Take Loudoun County, Virginia, a global data center hub that generated over $600 million in local tax revenues last year, directly funding community schools, services, and infrastructure. This explains why cities and states vigorously compete to attract these developments, offering incentives and upgrading local infrastructure. As the digital transformation intensifies, data centers will only grow more central to our economic narrative. Every leap in AI, cloud deployment, fintech, autonomous vehicles, telemedicine, and remote work ratchets up demand for fast, reliable server infrastructure. Data centers have moved from being supporting actors in tech to starring in the economic future itself. The discussion inevitably turns to energy. Data centers are among the most power-intensive facilities in the modern world. By 2024, data centers accounted for roughly 2-3% of global electricity consumption, a figure projected to climb sharply as the AI revolution takes hold and cloud services multiply. Indeed, industry forecasts suggest that U.S. data center load could reach 7.5% of all national electricity use by 2030, with Europe anticipating a 50% uptick in demand as early as 2026. The reason for this immense energy draw lies in several compounding factors. First, and fundamentally, these centers run dense racks of servers around the clock. Mission-critical data and applications can't tolerate downtime. Second, all of these electronics generate a tremendous amount of waste heat, making industrial-scale cooling a constant and nearly equal partner in energy consumption. Third, the latest wave of AI and high-performance computing workloads intensify the problem, requiring many multiples more power than traditional IT processing. And finally, the overall migration of workloads to the cloud as businesses become ever more data-driven keeps pushing the bar higher for baseline demand. A major hyperscale data center can require more than 100 megawatts of continuous power. That's enough to supply tens of thousands of homes. Even as hardware gets more efficient, the relentless upward trajectory in service demand keeps total electricity usage growing. Traditionally, data centers have solved their energy needs by tapping directly into the local electrical grid. This often makes sense. Utility grids offer proven reliability, established transmission networks, and in some cases, opportunities for favorable long-term power purchasing agreements. However, as the data center sector has boomed, the inherent limits of grid dependence are coming into sharper focus. Increasingly, data center operators encounter significant hurdles, just trying to secure the massive grid connections they require. In some regions, simply obtaining grid access can take as long as seven years, as utilities struggle with capacity constraints, complex interconnection queues, and local permitting delays. In the United States, there are over 1,600 gigawatts of new generation and load requests stuck in the grid queue. 
a bottleneck that is hampering not only new data centers, but renewable deployment as well. On top of these delays, grid power exposes operators to the risk of price volatility, especially during periods of high demand or supply constraints. Outages, brownouts, and fluctuating electricity rates can devastate the availability and competitiveness of cloud and AI workloads. And while many data centers seek to source low or zero carbon power, not all grids offer clean electricity in scalable quantities, putting sustainability goals out of reach and customers at risk of reputational harm. Faced with these realities, major hyperscalers have begun aggressively investigating alternatives to grid dependence drawn by the need for faster deployment, more reliable and often cleaner energy, and the flexibility to site data centers wherever their operational priorities dictate. Hydrogen's emergence as a behind-the-fence energy solution directly addresses the core pain points of grid limitations. With hydrogen fuel cells or hydrogen combustion turbines deployed on site, data centers can generate their own reliable, clean electricity independent of grid constraints, lengthy utility negotiations, or transmission limitations. These on-site hydrogen solutions offer a suite of economic and technical advantages. For one, hydrogen fuel cell systems are among the most reliable power generation assets commercially available, often achieving five nines of uptime, which is 99.999%. With the ability to bring new power online in as little as 90 days, compared to years-long grid expansion timelines. Operators finally gain the speed and flexibility crucial to keeping up with explosive growth in digital workloads. Economically, behind-the-fence hydrogen frees up operators from costly grid upgrades, congestion charges, and the risk of unpredictable energy markets. Upfront capital costs for fuel cell or turbines are now rapidly decreasing as commercial orders and manufacturing scale, positioning hydrogen as a cost-competitive alternative as the supply chain continues to mature. From an environmental perspective, the story is equally attractive. If the hydrogen used is sourced by advanced technologies like methane pyrolysis or electrolysis using renewables or even methane with carbon capture, the electricity generated can be either extremely low or near zero in life cycle emissions. Furthermore, hydrogen fuel cell solutions use no water for cooling, in stark contrast to many traditional grid power plants, representing a clear advantage as water scarcity becomes a growing concern. And perhaps most importantly, by uncoupling from the utility grid, data centers can be sited and expanded based on business priorities, not simply on where there's available grid headroom. As demand for AI and next-generation digital workloads leaps forward, the strategic and economic value of such flexibility grows more apparent. This brings us to a landmark example of hydrogen's data center potential. In July of this year, Oracle and Bloom Energy announced an agreement to bring on-site hydrogen-enabled fuel cell power to Oracle's cloud infrastructure data centers across the United States. This initiative is tailor-made to allow Oracle's data center portfolio to meet surging AI workload demand while sidestepping the massive risks, delays, and unpredictability now found at the intersection of grid interconnections and commodity energy markets. The underlying technology in Bloom's proprietary fuel cell systems allows them to use hydrogen or natural gas, enabling immediate deployment with a pathway to cut emissions progressively as green hydrogen supply expands in the coming years. Their systems are modular, scalable, and can be stacked up in increments as Oracle's AI and cloud demand increases, without waiting on external utility upgrades. For Oracle, the economic logic is clear. By leveraging on-premises fuel cells, the company can bring new capacity online in under three months, a speed unattainable for most major grid extensions. They gain insulation from price spikes, utility surcharges, and variable energy pricing. The environmental case is strong as well. Fuel cells' zero water usage and capability to use low carbon hydrogen put Oracle on track to meet its sustainability goals and offer competitive green certified services to its clients. This partnership signals a broader trend among hyperscalers and the digital economy's infrastructure providers, moving to take energy security, cost, and climate impact into their own hands. Of course, scaling hydrogen in data center applications is not without its hurdles. Widespread adoption demands a robust hydrogen supply and delivery infrastructure, ideally with proximity to large-scale hydrogen production or efficient storage and conversion from nearby natural gas. 
While initial capital investment in fuel cell systems is still meaningful, strong project economics and rapidly improving cost curves are lowering barriers for first movers, especially as costs are recouped in increasing uptime, grid independence, and operational resilience. There's also the question of technological maturity and operational support. While hydrogen systems are proven in continuous power applications, IT operators must become more familiar with their unique operational and safety characteristics. Nevertheless, as more deployments like Oracle Bloom Energy Collaboration prove their value, confidence in scaling hydrogen solutions will only grow. Looking ahead, it's clear that the digital economy's next growth spurt will hinge on three things. Reliable energy supply, rapid deployment capability, and low environmental footprint. Hydrogen-powered behind-the-fence solutions squarely address all three. As data center energy demand races ahead of grid infrastructure in key markets, and as AI and digital transformation intensify load profiles, the competitive and societal value of scalable, resilient, low-carbon hydrogen power will only increase. Initiatives like Bloom Energy and Oracle's not only answer immediate challenges, but also lay the foundation for a new era. Data infrastructure untethered from legacy grid constraints and increasingly aligned with society's expectations for sustainability, reliability, and growth. All right, that's it for me, everyone. If you have a second, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a good review on whatever platform it is that you listen to. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, YouTube, whatever it is. That would be a tremendous help to the show. And as always, if you ever have any feedback, you're welcome to email me directly at info at thehydrogenpodcast.com. So until next time, keep your eyes up and honor one another.